Now we've done it. Welcome to Between the Sharks. Yep. Well, they say if you want to make an omelet, you got to break some eggs. We weren't really after an omelet here. We were trying to build a Model T hot rod. We haven't really broken any eggs either, technically. But you see what I'm getting at. It was the way it had to be. Look at what we found. Our table is slightly improved. Our cowl is upside down. We have undone the work that we have done to square this up because it was wrong. The birds are singing. It's sunny outside. I think I got my head around how we're going to do this now. So uh, let's just let's just do this. So observations continue. Not only is this guy not in line with the guy over there, we still have sort of this concave shape. I mean, if I come over here, you can see it better. That's probably not how it should be with that light coming in under the level. Uh, clearly, we have dents here that we've reviewed, but also this. So it appears that this rivet stretched. Something's not right here. So basically, this feels like it's rocked this way and forcing everything to be not so good. Cruising around to the other side, we seem to have kind of a nice sort of groovy line here. Uh, it makes me think I should just take the firewall out beat it into shape, and then put it back. But at the very least, I think this section's gotta come off. Again, this is where the tree hit, so to think that this is forced backwards a little bit could really continue to cause us a ton of problems. And if actually, if we're looking at it, this is racked forward, if this was pushed back on our firewall, that may be holding this out. Like if it's a stretched rivet. So I think at the very least I gotta start here and pop this off. I think there's a spot weld, spot weld, spot weld. Gets a little bit closer to normal. We'll see if that actually springs this back into a shape. This may get interesting. Dang, I'm thinking we should go full nuclear here and just pull the firewall out. Stop focusing on what it was and trying to get it back. I mean, this is enough evidence that things are tweaked pretty bad. The bracing is attached here, so there's no reason to really trust the bracing anymore. Uh, but there's absolutely no reason if we pull the firewall out, flatten this bark out the best we can, make sure this and this are on the same plane, we can work backwards. I don't like, I feel like we should just start working from what it should be. I don't want to take this off, but I do think it's the right thing to do. And it's probably going to stretch more as I do this. Looking better. This guy's pretty good. This side needs to come out just a fuzz. Uh, I'm not using the level, obviously. I'm just trying to use the straight edge, so. Lest you be confused. So I have been beating the pants off of this thing. This is my biggest concern that's left right here. So this curve, 
like it's very pronounced. I think this is all due to stretched, stretched metal here. We come around to the other side, comes to a nice, gentle Henry Ford straight line kind of thing. So you can kind of see that side over there pooching out, if I get the camera right. And that makes me believe that not only has this stretched right here where it was hit, but uh, that the firewalls rolled a little bit extra. And I don't exactly know how to undo that outside of a pie cut. So I'm gonna cogitate on how to fix that. Take a look at this, guys. So this table's flat-ish, right? But uh, if you trace along, that one's somewhat kind of okay. Got a whoop to do with the skins, but what we're looking at right here is this section. So where this was attached and it got bent down when it got hit, it seems to have folded this down, which at this point, from this perspective, is buckling this up which meant it just kind of like crushed the cowl like a Coke can, bringing both the part that faces the driver here, this way, and the part that we've just fixed on the firewall, that way. All right, fellas, I think we're gonna just finish the job here and go full nuclear option on this, take the skin right off. Uh, I don't really wanna do it, but so much of this is rotten anyway. This is bent. This is basically the, the frame that's holding it all together is bent pretty badly right here. And there's no other way to fix it without destroying the skin. And if we don't fix this, we're never going to get the shape right. It's just the way it goes. That goes there. Somebody write that down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the result of some questionable decisions forced by some unfortunate revelations. If we know anything about metal, uh, it doesn't ever just bend. When it bends, it stretches. So, we were in a predicament where it was hit hard enough that it bent the understructure, which is now over here, while it bent the sheet metal, thus stretching it, and actually was hit hard enough to seem, it seems to have also, seems to have also stretched a section of our firewall. Uh, work the firewall back into some shape, there's still some work to do on it. This skeleton still has some bends in it, but we've got to get it right, clean it up, square it, and we are going to deal with this area, which is stretched pretty badly. So now we've done it, we've stepped in it, stirred the pudding, and don't think I haven't scoured the entire earth for a cowl. There's not another one. So we're gonna fix this, which is the right thing to do, but trust me, it crossed my mind. All right, gang, so this is the skeleton, sure. Uh, framework under the skin of our cowl. Firewall goes here, was hit here. These are welded in. We are square from hinge point to hinge point. And I've made a pattern and fit it in here. Basically, just so I can see, generally speaking, and flip it over, make sure we're in the same shape, that type of thing. At this point, uh, because I have it out, I may as well hit it with a grinder or a wire wheel, hit it with some black paint. We are close, but we're not perfect. Um, it's not a lot to do, but eyeball it. It feels like we still have just, just enough bend right here. And we're going to get it straight, and then we're going to move on. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because this is so specific to our little situation. I just wanted to, you know... 
let you know what was going on. All right, gang. So this contraption is ridiculous, but the short version is I've worked this thing out as much as I possibly can, squared it up on the bottom. This is all welded in, clamped a carpenter square to show me center line, all that stuff. And it looks like I have just about an eighth of an inch dip here. So what I've done is I've screwed the blocks to the table, backed up our cross piece to it. Now the jack is gonna press against that, which will be held in place in theory by this. And we'll see if we can force this to bend just a fuzz. We are pretty darn close. Uh, if there's a little bit of a bend, it's within an eighth of an inch. So I think we're going to call this as good as it gets for now. Let's hit it with a wire wheel, clean it up just a little bit, slap some spray paint on it, and then move on to our firewall while that dries. Ready? Break. Now we're going to try to reattach this to that and make it square. And that will thus, in theory, give us the bones to wrap our skin up. Yep. What could go wrong? All right, so just slapped it back together. I used some machine screws where the rivets used to be. No nuts, no nothing. It's all super loose. I just wanted to see how it would fit because we worked this piece independent from this piece. By worked, I mean hit it with a hammer. Uh, we gotta do a million measurements and we'll take some measurements off our skin and see how close we are to reality. Then we'll build some squareness. You know, things. Moving on. point we are somewhat braced up let's just work our way around all of this crazy framing has got us lined up on center both the front piece of the firewall to our back kind of skeleton ring thing and then our relationship from the firewall to this plane is held fast by these two braces yeah so now we're you know we're getting somewhere. We're doing something. This side actually kind of looks okay-ish. Well, we got issues. That's where our issues have always been. So, uh, so yeah. At this point, though, with the way everything is framed and set up, I feel reasonably confident that our relationship of our firewall to our little skeleton hoop guy is centered and at least even. I'm not 100% sure that we're totally correct, but we're really, really, really close. What I'm getting at is this thing is closer to being right than it's ever been since I owned it, but it took blowing it apart. The frame for the cowl is what it is now. It's well braced. It will stay this way until it's attached to a set frame. Now we've got to fix all the skin. So it doesn't look like much yet, but at least our next step will start yielding some visual results because a guy could, could really go for something that looked like progress right about now. This fellas, this section right here has been the thorn in my side. Um, it was a huge problem when I bought it. Let's see if we got a picture, a picture, maybe. 
huge, huge dent that ran down this way. It stretched this metal that way. It stretched all of this metal this way. Then I did probably the wrong thing and just got hasty, cut it here and cut it here, took it off, hammered it flat, which I had to cut. The dent was so steep that I had to like slice it, then I hammered it back together, then I welded it. So that was all wrong, basically, uh, because what I did was um, I took a stretched piece of metal and then I stretched it more by hammering it, then I welded it, which will 98.2% of the time, it's, it's gonna shrink the metal because basically as you're welding, the metal is most expanded when it is molten. And from that point on, as it cools, it will shrink. So it is biggest when it's molten and then it will continue to shrink as it cools until it's this. So basically this area has just been, it's a poor thing. So at this point, we've got to make a new panel that will replace this. I think I'll hang it on the wall because we just spent so much time together now. In order to do this, I guess we'll cut this out and then we'll make a patch. We'll throw it on the English wheel. We'll roll it out, uh, make custom die on the lathe to bead roll this edge back in, put it in a stretcher shrinker to make this curve after we break it. Just kidding, I don't have any of that stuff. Uh, I've got that sheet metal, and I've got a welder, and somewhere under all this, I got a body hammer. I think I lost it already. Just thought I'd bring you guys in to see this. So when I cut this, because I'm trying to preserve this edge actually, because otherwise I gotta make it, which I don't have the tools for. Um, this gap immediately closed. So there's still a ton of tension in here. Morning, fellas. So for me, it's the next day. For you, you guys are sometime in the future from now. So, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, I got this mostly fitted last night. Uh, I wanted to put fresh eyes on it. I was getting tired, and tired means that sometimes I'll hurry, and hurry means bad news when you're doing sheet metal stuff. So, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna do some final fitment, and then, I think I'm going to break out the TIG because if I can remember how to use it, it's been, oh, probably two or three years, uh, then uh, I'm probably going to get a much better result than if I hit it with the MIG because I've made this panel very tight. So, wish me luck. I'll probably do some practice runs, but I won't. But I should. But I won't. That's... Let's get her dialed in. All right, gang. So we've made the patch. I've got it tacked in. Uh, I tacked it in with the MIG welder because that just made my life easier. Uh, I'm going to try to TIG all this in, mostly because I haven't used my TIG in a long, long, long time. And even at my best, I was only kind of pretty good. So, uh... Yeah, this is a good opportunity. I may screw it all up, but if that happens, that happens. You know, uh, a smarter fellow would take a couple practice rounds, which maybe I'll do. I don't think so. That's not really who I am. <laughs> I'll probably just dive right in and hope for the best. So it's a good time to say like, hey, if you're out there doing a project, remember, you know, it's, it's really all right to learn as you go and do your projects. 
uh, to build your skill sets, not necessarily like build your skill sets to do your projects. What I'm trying to say is don't miss an opportunity to learn something while you're working on your project. I'm doing this for myself. I'm not trying to build a show car. I'm not trying to impress anybody really. Um, and as much fun as the car may be to drive, one of the things I've learned about hot rodding and stuff, it's the building it that's definitely the more fun part, at least to me. And I say that even as frustrating as this cowl has been. Well, the fact that I didn't get the tungsten stuck to the steel is, uh, we're gonna call that part near a victory for me. All right, folks, at least something productive uh, today. That's better, obviously, got some holes to fill. We're, we're gonna work, but considering how many days we spent with no progress, we'll call this kind of a win. So that patch is in place. We're much more in the shape of a 26, 27 cowl than we used to be, at least ever since I had it. This is the best shape it's been in. We're gonna call it a night because it's night again. And uh, we're gonna come back in the morning and give it hell. Start hitting all of these pieces to make it finished and to deal with this stuff because we've gotta hang some doors. Hey everybody, I wanted to say thank you for following along. Um, all the subscriptions and comments, they really do help. That's how YouTube works, I guess. Uh, so I appreciate it. If you're inclined to subscribe, please do. It helps a guy out. I'm gonna end it here. We are like 40 hours in on this cowl, and I'm not kidding. From the mistakes I made, to fixing the mistakes I made, to making more mistakes, to fixing those mistakes, but finally we're in a functioning shape that'll be kind of right for the finish of this car. Uh, I hope these things don't get tedious, but I, you know, this is how it goes sometimes. So if you're working on a project, don't expect it, but you know, at the same time, don't be surprised if something takes you a lot longer than you thought it would just because you didn't even realize how bad it was. I'm hoping this is really gonna kickstart things because once this cowl is done, we can work backwards. Hanging the doors may be a little tedious, but after that, I'm hoping this body will actually come together pretty quick because the rest of it needs a little bit of sheet metal repair, you know, like it's all rusty, but relatively speaking, it is actually kind of straight. So, um, I'm excited about it. Thanks for following along. I swear we're gonna turn this into a hot rod. Hopefully sooner than later, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but, you know, when you hit the stumbling blocks along the way, you just kinda keep stumbling until you can start walking upright again. I don't know, you know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching. Between the Sharks, we'll see you next time.